Okay, so I'm out here today at the BYOB 5 van camp out and uh, show here in Anaheim at the uh, Canyon RV Park. So uh, I know some of the people on my channel there have been asking uh, when I'm going to do another van show. Well, here's the other van show I'm doing. So let's go out and we're going to check out some of these awesome vans that are here, including my uh, yellow Econoline. And there's another yellow Econoline looks just like my yellow Econoline, but go figure. All right, here we go. There weren't too many van events this year uh, due to the uh, uh, pandemic that's going on. Uh, so I think a lot of people were kind of antsy. So there's like, realistically, there's like over like a hundred vans registered for this event. There's uh, more rolling in. A lot of people brought classics. If their vans were down, they brought other classics. So there's definitely a lot to see here. Um, and it's kind of hard to tell, but this campground goes way back. In fact, there's a second car show way on the other side of the campground, which I don't think I can walk to because it's pretty far. Um, but we're gonna ch at least check out the van stuff. Even the vans go pretty far back, but this is like the main show area. Uh, they said they wanted to fill, fill it up, so I brought my van over, even though it's it's not like the, the nicest van here, not, not even by a long shot. So, but there are really cool things to see and uh, we're gonna bring it to you. Here's a uh, cool first gen Econoline. Now check this one out. This one's done up definitely in the uh, late 60s, early 70s style with that custom paint. Uh, the Kragers, you know, it's jacked up. It's got the pipes coming out the side. And uh, looking on in there, I mean, this thing is like straight, straight period correct right there for you. Really, really sweet van. And continuing with the uh, first gens, there's a nice uh, blue one. Custom interior. You got the liquor cabinet on there. Here's a, a cool Chevy van with the uh, nice lift gate uh, side door with the, with the drop down. Barrels for seats. And of course, like fully 70s shagged out interior. Well, it's, it's like a, kind of like a, it looks like something out of like an old Italian restaurant. As the vans are still rolling in here, let's get the uh, louvers on the back window. All right, this is pretty sweet. I was checking this out where this guy was camped out last night. Uh, this is a second gen uh, window van, but I mean, this thing is absolutely amazing and done to the hilt. And uh, the guy says he just finished it. So it's only been in, I think, one other like car show or something. So we got the uh, toilet seat for the uh, trailer hitch there. I mean, it's got full custom everything, airbrushing. I mean, he's got a drone up there. You know, he's got his little oil well rig, whatever that does. But uh, look at this interior. Come around. I mean, it's, everything is is custom on this van. It's this five o'clock van, so I guess he's a huge uh, Jimmy Buffett fan. It's like the etched uh, windows there. It's a Hot Wheels. He's got like tributes to Bob Dylan. And check. I mean, he's got the wood stock on the door. I'll try to get this quick so I don't get the copyright. Just an amazing, amazing build on this van. The etching continues to the front window. I think everything on this van is absolutely custom. I think this guy's definitely going to win an award. Check out the. So look at this. I mean, just the paint and the, the, the detail on this. It's got a little place to plug in uh, the front there. It's fully, fully, fully airbrushed. He's even got a little tree that runs along the inside of the van. So like I said a full, full, full custom van. I mean, a little X-rated for you, but that's okay. Up there, um, but you can see the canvas up there 
where it goes up so you can stand up, cook your food and whatnot. Uh, and that way you don't bonk your head. He's got a CB in here. And this one's just a real, real cheery uh, camper. So it's kind of a neat van. I was talking to the owner of this one earlier. He just got this one from Arizona. And uh, I think he got it pretty much like this, which is it's pretty amazing condition. There's a cool custom van we see a lot. This is the Octopus's Garden. So with the uh, vinyl roof there. Okay, I'm going to have to talk over this one as much as I can so the uh, YouTube copyright police can get it to it. This is an original custom van from the 70s. Uh, like the full custom interior. Look at the, the dog house there. This thing is absolutely amazing. Like I said, if I don't talk over this part of the video, the copyright police will nab me on uh, YouTube, which we don't want. Yeah, he's got the uh, full custom engine. He's got the, so you can see it right there. First, a full custom upholstered dash. And I'll show you the grill. The grill's pretty, pretty darn 70s, if you ask me, but it's spectacular to see anyway. Right, here's a cool uh, early Dodge van. You got a, a vintage Schwinn bicycle in there. It's actually at a Tebecula van run that I, I didn't shoot for some reason earlier this year that I later regretted uh, not shooting for YouTube. Uh, but this is like an amazing original 70s conversion. The full, I mean full, this was all done in the 1970s. In fact, these seats are very similar ones in my 83 Dodge. So they're probably pretty standard, uh, like off the shelf seat, custom van seat, I imagine. But this, this one's definitely like a time capsule. And you don't see a lot of this stuff anymore where it's just that original. Look at the old pinstriping that was probably done before many of my viewers were even born. But this is just amazing. This this van. So you've got the overhead console and the little, little uh, sunroof there. more van show you can see where some of the people were camped out last night like i said the camp the camp the ground goes way back so people have been here and i think they're even going to camp out tonight but i i can't i've got to actually pick up my daughter first thing in the morning so i don't get to do that there's some really really cool builds and of course mine's sitting over in the other side of the show looking kind of sad but original Yeah, and this uh, second gen Ford's got a uh, got a, a bear rug up on the roof. Over here. There you go, just in time for Halloween. Another cool 70s Dodge. All right, I'm just gonna give you guys a quick uh, view of the, uh, the campground area. So, so most of the vans, that, a lot of the vans were over here, they're actually in the show. The people actually camped out here and then now they're in the show 
which is way over there where we just were. So, I mean, you can see there's it's just a huge, huge facility here where they, they have stuff like this. They even do like uh, camp outs for different car clubs as well. Uh, it's pretty cool. Actually, the uh, 91 freeway is like right there, so that's why you, uh, you could probably hear it in the background the cars whizzing by. BYOB 5, uh, the van show at least, here at, uh, in Anaheim at uh, Canyon RV Park. Uh, I'm going to be shooting more van events as they pop up, as there hasn't been a whole lot of them, as well as car shows. Pretty much the same story. Hasn't been a lot of them in this area here in Southern California, but uh, they're actually starting to come up. Uh, the Mopar Fall Fling is coming up. I'm planning to hit that, so I'll be, I'll be videoing there. Um, and if you like what you see, be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment as to what your favorite van was. And until next time, I'll be seeing you.